Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World. Today's a great day because it is cruise day. Come on in, check it out. So guys, yes, we're very excited to board the MSC Meraviglia. First time on MSC Cruise Lines, but fourth cruise here on Meddling World. Of course, Jake is with me, Robert is with me. And we have some friends sailing with us. So we're gonna have a great time. And guys, you know how I love to vlog our cruises. You're on the adventure with Meddling World. We show you all the activities we're doing um, and kind of make it like you're hanging out with us. We give you a lot of information so that if you're gonna come on this cruise ship or you wanna learn about it, you're gonna have everything you need. So let's go have some fun. And take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you have not yet. Guys, one thing I'm loving so far is it's about, it's a little bit after 2 p.m. We got here a little bit later, but look, there are no lines at all to get into the terminal. And that's the one thing I've been hearing. It's hard to get information at MSC. That's why I'm really looking forward to doing this vlog so I can show you everything, but as you can see here guys we're walking right on we're getting right into the terminal security was so nice easy right through and this is where you check in it looks like this shouldn't take long at all there's not a bunch of people all through the queue here so so far so good uh boarding msc meraviglia for sure so let's get ready to get on board guys but so far no complaints i cannot wait to bring you this vlog we love cruise vlogs i just kind of want to show you a little bit of the terminal here looks like it can hold a lot of people but look nobody's waiting aboard which is really nice so you can see not long lines at all roberta and jake are right there we're scanning all our passports we got to walk right up so by the time this is done from security here on the ship 12 13 minutes very quick awesome also want to give a shout out to the crew members here on msc fantastic answer all your questions very friendly making you feel excited about the cruise which we definitely are i can't wait we are with our friends as i said we got chris we got ashley we got grace hey jake you ready to board and you guys know here on Meddling World, Jake lives his best life on cruise ships. I can't wait to show you all the stuff he does and all the fun we're gonna have together on this awesome cruise. I guess you can get some photos here. I usually skip these and get right to the fun. Here we go. We always love to walk on together on Meddling World, especially on cruise ships. Take a look. Getting ready to board the MSC Meraviglia. Let's see what our first impressions are of this cruise oh, ship. Security. More security. We're back in. First thing, noticing because MSC is an Italian cruise line. Thank you so much. Wow, look at this. This is awesome right here. Already I'm in love with this. Welcome aboard. Right? Welcome aboard all over the roof there, guys. We're right on the main. I, I guess this would be promenade, I would assume. Look at this, just to give you your first looks. And our first looks on Meddling World, like I said, it's an adventure. You're hanging out with us. Wow. Right on crazy. It smells like a cruise. I know. I can't wait to bring all this to you. Also want to give you a little information about MSC. They are an Italian cruise line, so a little different with the security again, checking you as you come on the ship. Yeah. Jake, what are you thinking right now? This looks amazing. You heard it. Oh, look at over here. We got chocolates. We got everything. This is very fancy. This is like a classy cruise ship. Very nice. Very like my first impression of this is high tech luxury. That's what I'm thinking about, Roberta. High tech luxury. Yeah. Very cool. Amazing. Like it smells awesome in here. And like I said, uh, this is a, an Italian cruise line. So while we cruise this ship, guys, we've done two Royal Caribbean cruises. We've done a Disney cruise. So this will be our fourth cruise 
on our channel, please again take a moment, subscribe. I think you're really gonna enjoy the way we vlog our cruises. And we try not to do any kind of comparisons as we're cruising until the end, and then we'll talk about some of the other ships and where it relates and what we liked and what we didn't like. Now, yeah, maybe here and there I might say, oh, on Disney they did this or on Royal, but I'm gonna really try to be non biased and just show you all about this cruise. Check that out. So Jake is a musician, guys, a little musician. He's already pointed out some of the beautiful art. This what is this, Jake? It's a saxophone. Saxophone. But I have no idea what this is. Maybe a it baseball. Looks, yeah, it's just kind of a piece of art. So lots of beautiful art that we've already discovered. I mean, look at his ship. It's gorgeous. So here we go, guys. We are actually, that floor we were on just up there was the sixth floor. Our cabin is right down here on the fifth floor. Let's head down. Now, we've never had a cabin this low. So let me tell you about the idea we had with the cabin choice. So it's a three night cruise. We just wanted an inside cabin. Let's get on the ship, inexpensive. Let's just get on it, let's go. So what happened is when you get on, they kind of do these things where, oh, you can have the, like the ocean view for like $10 more or something. It was very like, very close in price. So. What we did do then, not quite the balcony, but we at least got an ocean view room. First time we had an ocean view. We've done balconies and inside, so we're looking forward to showing you guys this room. Let's go find it. So I always like to, I worked in hotel management for over 22 years, and I always love coming into different, you now this is, you know, it's a cruise ship, but this is the hotel version, right? I noticed these cool little lights all along the baseboard i just kind of like just a little fancy thing so i'm noticing on this ship that there's a lot of little really cool fancy add-ons you know so let's see what our room looks like we're right here 5079 guys what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna kind of show you the room this will be kind of a quicker tour and then i'll do a more in-depth tour let's get some lights going first of all the lights are in good working order um please keep quiet so you can hear any instructions oh i might need the key card let's try that and see what happens guys yes you need to put your card in there to activate all the lights so guys just look, this is going to be a quick tour just to kind of show you what the room looks like and then i'll do a i'll do a detailed room tour and kind of show you the outlets and more you know detailed things so just we have some space here closet okay pretty neat we got those nice side lights i still haven't found the bathroom and this is pretty cool because obviously they knew there was three of us and they already turned the bed down for jake so look at that i don't know if that's good or bad because it's still kind of early you might want to sit on the bed but for now anyway and roberta and jake are here because this is our informal room tour so really nice and like i said guys we just opted for the ocean view but it give us some natural lighting uh during the day which we like some artwork one thing i wanted to point out real quick the bathroom the bathroom yes jake but this is pretty cool because you get real paper you get real schedules so you don't always have to be on the phone part of why i love cruising is to get off my phone so all kinds of different information. Here you can see all the things going on. I know Jake's gonna find out all the hours for his pool. I love the towels too, they're fancy. I really like this room. I think this room is really nice. Jake's gonna give me a quick tour of the bathroom. Help me with a quick tour. Let's stand up in here. I'm pretty short, so. Eh, pretty typical. Again, this is, to me, looks very clean. Let's see the shower. And there you guys have it. This is just a quick tour. Again, uh, when I am done all our series of cruise vlogs, I'm going to release a detailed tour of this room right here. So make sure you subscribe now so you'll be able to see all the outlets and the refrigerator and all of those things that you need to know. So, but just a quick tour. Guys, here we go. Okay. Okay, thank we you. Gotta, enjoy your cruise. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you so much. Here's our stateroom attendant. 
This Hello. guy's the best. What, what's your name again, sir? My name is Morita. Hello. Yeah. From Bali. From Bali, yes. Yeah. He's awesome. He has already hooked us up, man. We're gonna see you, man. Yeah, Thank you. Again. I'm loving this cruise, guys. And we're, wow. Oh, I love our, okay. So we just came out of our room. I do like being on deck five, because we're right here. Look, we got all the action right here, right out of our room. We got piano playing. Guys, this is day one. Embarking. MSC Maravilla just kind of hanging out getting a feel of the ship very important that first day get a feel of the ship I gotta show you I mean we're heading over to the buffet look at the staircase wow is that awesome and I just kind of want to walk over here guys and just kind of show you how awesome this place is a lot of people here taking care of things like guest service. We got the piano playing, beautiful art. This is gorgeous. What do you say we uh, walk up the crystal staircase together? This is amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to keep calm, guys, but this is just kind of like how I feel. I feel so excited. It, it's just exciting. It's gorgeous in here. All right, we're gonna go and what? Check out uh, the buffet because what? It's four o'clock, but we eat at six o'clock, so why not? Wow. First impressions, Roberta. It's gorgeous. Yes. Ship's gorgeous, classy ship. Yes. Very classy. So far, Jake. This is really good. Yeah. So far, I gotta tell you, the staff, the crew, excellent. So we are with friends and they already got us so that we can sit together. We got our tables together for dinner. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but we gotta go meet our friends so we can go check out the buffet. Let's go do it. Wow, so we're up here guys. Deck 15, if you're looking for the Marketplace Buffet, which they call here on the MSC Maravilla. I'm not sure if that's what they call it on all the MSC ships, but here we go. Washy washy, we got plenty of wash stations here guys. So as you're coming in, you can wash your hands. Also have the uh, sanitizer. So let's go have a look around and see what kind of food they have. So I just walked in. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour here and kind of show you around the buffet. So they have this awesome bar right here. You can go and grab your favorite beverage. And let's just kind of start over here and see what kind of food they have. All kinds of good stuff here. Looks like some uh, chicken pie. <laughs> and we have vegetables, some onion, and that looks like a stew over there. They do have some onion, some tomatoes. We have burgers, we have hot dogs, we have fries over here. So here's all different salads. Looks like some potato salad, some of your greens, all kinds of stuff. Uh, they have some toppings over there you can put on. Dressings, really nice. All kinds of different dressings here. Have some of the oils. Let's keep it moving. Actually, we'll just walk together. Kind of show you the seating area here too. Look at this. Beautiful views all along the seating here at the buffet. And we looks like the pasta station here. Different kind of pastas. Some more uh, salad and toppings here. Yeah, all the different salads. So they do have a lot of salad varieties. Loving those olives. And as we keep moving along, <laughs> more salad. This looks like Caesar salad. So you can have some roast beef here maybe or something they were carving. Uh, mashed potatoes. Looks like beef stroganoff. We got rice. We have some fish here. Uh, Corn on a cob, uh, some more chicken. Wow, this just keep moving. Lots of breads. We got cheeses and meats. More olives. And I'm just gonna keep going, guys. This is some. It's called eth ethnic. So different ethnic foods here. Whatever you're into, right? Some of the different uh, uh, the breads and kind of those chips, right? And we got some shrimp. 
looking good, guys. So we see some shrimp there. Let's see what else we can find. That's actually shrimp, shrimp curry. We got some curry chicken. We got some white uh, rice here. And oh, actually that is oh, jira rice. And over here we have a vegetable curry. Moving along, I guess I found the desserts over here. All different kind of desserts. Take a look. Beautiful, a lot of tables here. More desserts here. And beverages, of course. These would be the included beverages. So this looks like the coffee area. And over here, you're gonna find some of the other included beverages. So they have, actually, I'm gonna grab one. Hold on a minute, guys. Here's the drinks, guys. Looks like just right now it's fine. Oh. Looks like it's just a pineapple going on. Here we have it. It is the uh, Vitality by Nestle drinks. A little pineapple as we continue around. Looks like some of these stations are not open yet, but I'm curious. I gotta go find the pizza. Look at all the open tables here in the back. Tons of them and also outdoor seating. I'll be able to show you this stuff as we get through the cruise. Right now though, back here, not even open yet. So let's continue around and find some pizza. So I am noticing some more over here They got the pineapple and they also have cranberry. So there's a little bit more and of course you got the ice and water as well So I'm just kind of walking all the way around guys just to show you what we have And looks like it kind of repeats itself, right? So here's some more desserts and as I go through this cruise, I'm going to find out if there's a certain ones that are sugar-free or not to give you that information. But this is kind of a repeat. So it's the same thing on both sides. But I need to go find the pizza. And of course, with pizza, you have some Parmesan. You have the hot pepper. Take a look at some of these pizzas here. Wow. Really looking good. And I guess this cruise line is known for their pizza. Here's another one here. Looks like Jake's got a tiramisu here, Roberta, yeah. and a little tart. Jake, go ahead in it. I know I sat down, guys, to try some food. Let's see what Jake thinks of the desserts. I love Jake when on cruising. He's already digging in. It's all right. It's all right? It kind of has like a vanilla. Vanilla. Kind yeah. of a vanilla taste. Okay, well, I'm going to be giving some reviews right now. Roberta, do you mind? I have no idea what kind of pizza this is. I'm gonna try it. You like a soft crust? Good. Nice. Let me try this one. This is a white pizza here. Looks like it's got some onions on it. I think that one's vegetables. This is the winner. The beach is good, though. I haven't eaten enough things yet to kind of tell you if I think it's the best thing here or not, but I do hear the pizza's awesome on this cruise line. It's better than a lot of pizza I've had in Florida. Yeah. yeah. So, but I am from New England. We have a lot of nice pizzerias. Yeah. It's not the best pizza I've ever had, but I will say it is probably the best pizza I've ever had on a cruise ship. Yeah, I go along with that. So pizza is really good. I need some more food. Though. They came across from where the pizza is, so let me show you. There's a pizza. Just walked across. Many more desserts, right? And they have this awesome welcome cake here. And they actually have a lot of fruit. I don't know if the, I saw the fruit on the other side. Looks like some melon, some cantaloupes. Let's go have a look over here and see what we have. And like little mandarins, oranges, apples. Really cool. Again, let me try to find out some information about sugar-free desserts. Awesome crew member here. Just gave me that information. So you guys can kind of see white plate, white plate, black plate. Anything on a black, black plate is sugar-free. I love that idea. It's just nice and simple. Really cool. So we're heading out of the uh, Marketplace Buffet, guys. Um, I just had a couple slices of pizza because we're gonna be eating in about an hour and a half and I really wanna save some room for the uh, main dining room so I can eat good there. 
Uh, didn't want to ruin my dinner, but the pizza was good, Roberta. Yeah, the dessert was all right. Yeah, it was nothing like I want to go out of my way to get the what? Desserts. Oh, desserts, you're talking. Yeah. I didn't pizza even. Pizza was good. Pizza was good? No, yeah. the, the, uh, the dough was awesome. The dough was really good. Yeah, no, the pizza is good. Now that I've eaten a couple slices, really enjoyed the pizza. So the um, cruise director came on and did remind us now. Yeah. That's why, look, everybody's like gone because everybody goes to the room at 445 and yeah. does the mustard drill. So let's go get it done and get it over with. But it was like somebody pulled the fire drill just all of a sudden. Time to go, get to your room, you have 10 minutes. So, here we go. Have it letting us know now that we will TV, watch the safety channel video. Number five. Channel number five, safety video. We'll watch it and then we follow the instructions that are given after so we can complete our muster. So, let's see what happens. Your requests have been recorded. You may now hang up. So I guess it's your just saying uh, your request has you been recorded. You may now hang up. We dialed the 881. So we're heading now to our assembly station. You cannot use the elevators, but it's just up one deck. Uh, and they call in groups. So luckily we were group one. They call group like uh, decks five, six, and nine or something along those lines. So well, maybe it was the other way. we were lucky enough so we can get it all done and over with. So this is a little crowded guys, but let's see how it works out. I'm trying to find, they got B, we got to find D. Um, so it did say you had to use the stairs. Obviously I would assume if you need accessibility for the elevator, I just saw a bunch of people coming off the elevator. You could use that for your muster, but look, they got it all mapped out. So there's ours, D, Plaza Maravilla. So we'll go there, scan our cards. You're on the adventure with us. We even show you how to do the muster here. Very easy, right, Roberta? Not bad. Just a lot of people are I mean, it's a couple different steps, but you know, you start to think, oh, there's people everywhere, but you know what? There's people everywhere all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and we walked right up, he scanned our cards and said, you're all set. So it's all done. Listen to the video. Come up, scan your card, done. Muster is over. Let's see what's next. So this is how you pay for everything on a cruise. Uh, a little bit different on MSC. So you can put dollar, you pick your currency. Oh, here we go, guys. We're out here on the pool deck. I still don't have my bearings down here. I'm not even sure, like, it's deck 15, but I'm not even sure what this pool's called where it's going on but i can tell you what there's not a lot of people out here pretty nice let's just kind of look around up there are some beautiful uh areas to lay out and get your sun um i really love the um theming of the pool right you can see the like the statues right like the european culture all over the pool love this love this big entertainment screen up there i'm sure they have some kind of movies i haven't even got guys i haven't even gotten into like checking the entertainment and things are going on i'm just getting accustomed to the ship that's kind of what you do on your first night take a little look classy it's not like like i say it's like elegant right you got yeah oh, you can walk up and hang out and walk back down loving it so the thing is we have dinner our dinner's at six because it, the early dinner is actually six. We usually like the late dinner, but on this cruise ship, the late dinner I think is like it was like nine or nine thirty, which is really late. I'm gonna hang out here for a little while. Like I said, as we go through the cruise, I'll be able to show you more and more um, as we go through our adventure. So I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit, and then dinner. So I think what we're gonna do. They said the water was a little cold here, so I think there's an indoor pool somewhere, so it, it's probably over here, I'm assuming. It has like, it's called, I think, the bamboo pool or something like that, and it has a, um, like a retractable roof and things. So I think now's a good time to maybe go and try it out. And you can exchange your towels. I remember I was showing you those really cool towels we had in our room, really nice. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, this is nice. It's it, oh, this is fancy. So they have these nice seating areas like this. 
It is not a lot of people in here at all. Look at this nice car. I'll be right back. Here's the retractable roof I was talking about. It's closed today and it is beautiful in here. It's nice and warm. There's no wind. Look at the pool. Just look at again the, the, the theming. The, it's really, I know I've said this a lot, but my impression so far on the MSC Meraviglia, again, just got here in a couple hours. It's a classy ship, fancy, very nice. It's got like that upper deck up there that you can hang out and overlook. I really love these seating areas too. They just, they're really nice. Especially if you have a nice group, you guys just want to kind of sit around in there. Wow, so cool. We'll be back in here a little bit more during the trip, but definitely want to show you. And the bar right here is really nice. Guys, I want to bring you up the steps a little bit here and kind of give you an overview of, uh, I, I think it's like the bamboo pool or bamboo room. I'll find out. I'll definitely come back in here during our journey. I'll be right back again. So you can see Jake down there and Grace. Uh, they're down there enjoying the hot tub. Nice big platform too around the hot tub. That's nice. Uh, looking for accessibility. Don't see a ramp. But I'll check again. Like I said, I'll try to see some more of that. But. They have some foosball up here, as you guys can see. I love the retractable roof because it was a bit breezy outside at the other pool in here. It's just gorgeous. There's not a lot of people in here. Oh, there's another hot tub over on the other side. Let's go have a look at that. This one's really nice. It kind of overlooks the port. We'll be sail actually sailing away while we're eating, which is a little strange, but there's another one there. And you can see all the beautiful ocean views. This is really, really nice up here. Take a look out. Cape Canaveral Kennedy Space Center out in the distance over there. And again, it's kind of a quiet area as of now. Okay, I think you kind of got a good idea of this area. I, again, the, oh, there was a, there's another hot tub on this side. I didn't even notice that one. So, one, two, three, four. Also, ping pong, guys. Ping pong available as well. I just want to take a quick walk outside before we go to dinner. Oh, that sun is really nice right now. Uh, kind of just give you an overview here, too. This is where we were a little while ago. Um, you can see I really love these like loungers they have around the pool they're almost like little beds and they're kind of elevated you guys can see them they look really good long line there for something must be oh I think it's I don't know we'll find out at some point a little introductory to our awesome vlog series coming out MSC Marabilia Okay, I promise. Now, now, now we got to get ready for dinner. Sun's starting to set. Uh, like I said, we're going to be eating dinner as we sail away, which is a little bit different. I've never done that, but I know I keep saying it's dinner time. It really is, guys, but I I just want to show you everything because I love it. Jake, what, did, what was your impression of that bamboo-like style indoor pool area? It was pretty cool. It was cool, huh? Yeah. How was the water? That means not too hot, not too cold. So I want to show you this cool panoramic view of the elevator here. This thing's really nice. And look, you get your nice ocean views as you go down. Let's go for a ride. Here we go. Wow. You can see right down the side of the cruise ship. This is really neat. That I believe over there is the Disney terminal if I'm not mistaken. So, I got a feeling we're gonna be using that panoramic view elevator because it drops us off right at our room almost. We're right here, walking down the corridor and our room is just right around the corner here. I'll show you in real time how long it takes. We're right here. So, oh, I'm gonna be loving that elevator, Jake. Cutting back here, guys, through the atrium, heading to dinner our dining room 
this way so let's head over and try it out so here we are we're on deck six and let's go ahead and see what the dining room is all about wow very nice in here i kind of different right low ceilings in the dining room here pretty neat let's see where we end up guess what our table number is i'll show you when i when we get there so nice views actually as we do sail away we'll be able to oh i think we are sailing away as a matter oh, yeah, of fact we are. Yeah, we, are. we are sailing away so we're going to meet up with uh, our friends chris ashley and grace sit down have dinner so let's see how good it is i'll show you our table number when we get there so yes guys we have table 911 so we have our waiter i don't know if it was our head waiter or assistant but his name's newton i'll get some more clarification newton brought us over some rolls here for the table jake's already going to town getting his ready with his butter so jake how's your bread it's good is it good is it soft and stuff you like it yeah. so bread i've been told is good i didn't even have any bread yet i'm kind of saving room because i want to throw down I think I'm gonna get the shrimp cocktail and the prime rib tonight. Roberta's still deciding, but I'll let you know. All right, Jake is my cameraman right now, everybody. So what we decided to do on this cruise is we did not get a drink package. Um, it's a three night cruise and we, we didn't realize when we booked, in order to get a drink package with MSC on a three night cruise, you have to actually buy it as a package when you book the cruise. So you can't add it on after. At least that's what we were told. So we're kind of going a la carte with our drinks, but we figured it out that uh, we're not alcohol drinkers and I think we'll be fine. We'll just have, you know, some sodas here and there and maybe some mocktails. So the good thing is here at Main Dining, also I was a little confused with because I was told you had to pay for anything but water. But we did get iced teas which are included free in the fare of the cruise. And Jake's gonna get himself a coat and we'll use our card for the coat. So just to kind of let you know, there are a lot of drinks that are included that you don't have to pay for. And then anything else, you can buy a la carte. So keep that in mind. And we're getting ready to eat. Here's Roberta starting with the tomato soup. Shrimp cocktail has arrived for Jake and I. Look at those bad boys. Jake's going in for the shrimp cocktail. Jake, you gonna put a little of the sauce on it? No, he's going right in. Let's see, you know Jake gives us great reviews on his cocktail. You approve, Jake? Yeah. But it is really good. It's really good. Awesome. Try it with the sauce. Go ahead. I just tried it too. It's it's good. I mean, average. You know. So I'll say it's an average shrimp cocktail. Pretty good though. Tastes good. Roberta, how about you? Soup is good. Not too warm though. Not too warm. It's not hot. I would say it's warm. It's, a, it's, it's not a very strong flavor. It's a very smiled flavor of, of tomato. It's good. So Jake, for his main course, he got the chicken croquette, which looks pretty good. I am interested to see how much he likes it. So as soon as he digs into that, we'll find out. Jake, what'd you think of the chicken croquette? Because me and my buddy Chris, we had to finish it. But did you like it, Jake? It was good. It was good. Chicken croquette was good, I think. I like that. Just even maybe better than a shrimp cocktail. But now it's prime rib time with the baked potato, some peas, snap peas, I should say. Roberta's got the chicken and waffle with some veggies. Thank you. We're going to go ahead chow down. Again, guys, very important on Medling World. Take a moment, subscribe to Medling World. We're going to rate all the food. We're going to show you everything that we do all throughout this cruise. I think it was good, man. I really enjoyed the meal. Uh, definitely would say, for me, above average. 
better than what I thought I would get. So I really like the prime rib. Definitely good. Potato is fine. Snap peas would cook the way I like them. Roberta, what about you? Oh, it's good. I, I was actually, it was a different dish, but surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. Yeah, it was very crunchy. The chicken was not dry. It was uh, good, very good. And the honey gave an extra sweet and uh, crunchy and uh, with the waffle was kind of, it was interesting, but it was a good interest. Nice. So guys, there's one meal done uh, in the main dining room. I, I think we all liked it. Even Chris and Ashley and Grace, they enjoyed what they had. So everybody seems satisfied. So let's see what's next. Uh, oh wait, we still got dessert coming. You know I'm big on rating the dessert, so I can't wait. Roberta, what did you get there? I got pistachio coconut cake, Ooh. something like that. Look at Roberta how happy she is to eat that. Jake and I were still waiting. Oh man. And Jake got, uh, it's called Grandma's Chocolate Cake. Oh, he's going right in. Let's see immediate reactions from Jake. Good chocolate flavor. Good chocolate flavor. It's a bit overpowering, but it's still good. It's an eight. An eight? Jake's giving out numbers. We usually don't do numbers on cruises. And I got some, uh, I think it's vanilla, but it's sugar-free ice cream. I like to try sugar-free desserts a lot. And let's see what Roberta thinks of her coconut pistachio cake. It's good, it's smooth. I don't taste much of the pistachio. Mostly it's the coconut. Heading out of the dining room, I, I still don't know the exact proper name of the dining room we just ate in, but guys, look at how cool this is. Oh, the different wine. Oh. oh, you can kind of walk through. This is really beautiful. Again, some of the nice decor of this ship. Um, just kind of want to wrap up the meal. I think it was it was really good, actually. I'm happy. Yeah. It was I, I feel really happy that we ate there. I don't think there was above average. Oh, it was the the yeah. meal altogether was above average. Yeah. Everything I had was good. Yeah. Um, Oh, you know, I don't know what else to say. It was really good. We just came back to the stateroom. And uh, our stateroom attendant, look it. Everything all nice. Turn our beds down. But look. Again, I've heard a lot of people say they don't do the towel creatures on MSC. But I guess we're lucky enough. Look at that. That's so, so cool. <laughs> Definitely got to say that's an elephant, right? If I'm not mistaken. I it hope. Looks like it. I hope so. <laughs> But we're really happy because, well, Jake decided he wants to go to the kids' club? No, it's junior club. Junior club. Okay, we have to make sure we use right terminology. And this uh, is a reflection in the room. Because <laughs> you'll know uh, on our previous cruise, cruises, guys, if, if you've been following along, Jake really loves to hang out with us a lot, which yeah. we, we absolutely love. We do. On Disney, he went to the club for just a few minutes. Yes. He's getting ready now, so he's over there. But uh, he just said to us, Dad, I want to try. Yeah. So we're going to, of course, we support our son. And we're going to go check that out and show it to you. We're going to go. We're going to yeah. vlog it. We're going to go check it out. And let's see how long Jake lasts. I can yeah. feel the ship moving a little. A little bit. Yeah. But guys, I don't even think I got into the itinerary yet for this cruise. Well, talking a um, couple of things we didn't talk about. It. Like, uh, we are not, I'm not feeling much of the ship. I just not feeling now. Yeah, but mild. Not, mild, no, not, no big yeah. deal. And but we do hear a little bit um some yeah whatever is right above, above us, us I don't think it's guest rooms yeah we give we'll find a better out. review to you guys <clears throat> by the end of the cruise yeah I'm gonna find out what's exactly above me right now so it's quiet we... but earlier it sounded like chairs moving maybe there's something above us yeah not yeah. sure what it is but um yeah. we're actually just gonna be sailing from now we we're, we're gonna be at our first port of call which is only one port of call tomorrow yes. morning at eight a.m. yeah and we stay a whole night. We stay all the way to the next day at noon. So tomorrow will be Friday, 8 a.m. We arrive at um, MSC's private island. Yes. Uh, and we get to stay the whole night there. So there's going to be it's like cool. a, a show on the lighthouse, a, 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 supposedly a party at the beach. Yes. All these fun activities. So we're going to be able to vlog all that for you. Uh, so as I was kind of referring that to the seasickness or the motion of the ship, 
we go there yeah we hang out and then we leave there and come back it's three nights so we're not really going to be out cruising a lot a lot yes. so anyway let's head up and check out the junior 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 club jake you ready yes and i'm having fun just hanging out exploring this ship today look they got like these sports courts down here and they're indoor isn't that awesome they're playing basketball and guys you can see this is all the like youth club area all Sorry. lego themed really neat so we're trying to find the one for jake for the junior club but they're all in this area his baby right here three and under i love it it's being so awesome i really am loving this shit man it's so cool let's go find out where the junior club is okay some information here guys about the uh, kids club area it's called do re mi land and they feature legos so legos obviously is involved first thing you got to do is register so you got to come in here to the lab you register for your child and then according to their age they break them up into different groups but i'm just kind of walking around in here roberta's kind of um registering him but i wanted to come out this way just to see what's out here and then we'll go show you the kids club when they're all ready oh this looks like it says adult only i'm an adult why not let's go see what it is so msc maravilla adult only don't again new to the ship oh sky lounge okay so this is called the sky lounge again really really beautiful kind of strange though isn't it adult only and then kids club so i guess maybe kind of convenient right drive your kid off come into the adult area let's have a look around in here and see i sort of look like they got a bar over here a bunch of just kind of like loungers actually i'm gonna go over here and show you guys out the window stay with me for a minute all right so that's where we were earlier right down there in the pool so pretty neat and yeah it's just basically a lounge yeah looks like they have music that they can do a little dark sorry guys a little dark in here mirror ceilings too looks like they're getting ready to set up for some music over here so yeah ah nice big artwork over here let's go take a look at that big piece of art a little dark i know yeah and then here's the bar oh looks like they got snacks too not sure if these are included they probably are they're just little snacks some more over on the other side let's go check it out just kind of chilling in here for a minute you can see that dark ocean out there jake used a great word eerie right could be very eerie but yeah so here is the sky lounge adult only so we're discovering all kinds of fun on the ship now let's go see if roberta and jake have registered and uh the kids club so jake's all registered now uh just some information about the youth clubs here um kids club yeah yeah the kids clubs in general the communication right roberta so yes. touch yeah. on that if you could so yeah um you can call the number here in case that you want information about your child if they need to get picked up or not right or they can call the cabin but there's no way for them to get a hold of you through the, the app, app to the Doesn't app work. yeah so. and because they are on the 18 so they cannot text you either because on an app we can text each other but not with the child so um it's a little bit more complicated because if the child wants to come out there's no way to contact the parent well you do have the option that you can you can allow the child to leave on their own there Correct. is an option but for jake we don't want that option we'd Correct. rather not just let him roam around the ship right now yeah uh, you know especially not having any way to come in yeah he doesn't know the knowing. ship well so well he just went in but i see him coming back so i'm gonna see if he likes it all right guys i'm back here so jake didn't really enjoy this the kids club or uh, junior club here on the msc uh maravilla he gave it a try though so i'm very happy that he did but uh, he came out he walked in he did a circle around he said his words to us were 
is very loud and you know you see Jake with the headphones he has sensory issues to certain not really music or any particular sound just chaotic sounds so he felt uncomfortable and then he said there was a lot of just wasn't very organized just kids kind of all over the place so he didn't feel comfortable with that and that's fine so he came back out and he's gonna hang out with us so we're all good with it and I'm just happy that he tried it and that's all he needed to do so let's go see what's next for tonight hey Jake yeah there's no rest on a three night cruise is there no seven nights yes three nights we go guys this is meddling world you're on the adventure we go 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 we're going to the theater now for a show it's called cool I think it has something to do with music <coughs> uh it's supposedly in the theater oh, the guys theater stand now. by too I'm gonna do a full ship tour um that I will release after this set of vlogs as we go through our cruise at the end I'll put out a full ship tour because I really need to learn this ship and that'll give me a great opportunity. Let's head to the theater and check out the show. Oh, we're heading to the theater, but guys, look at this. That is so awesome, man. I love that. And I don't know, I'm kind of calling this the, the promenade deck. I don't even know if that's the proper name for this deck, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. I just love that interchangeable LED ceiling, man. That thing is incredibly cool. They got little chocolate, uh, gelato. They got all kinds of stuff out here. Really cool. I'm hearing music. I think the theater's straight ahead. Let me give you some information about the theater. No food or drink in the theater, but check it out. It's a nice theater. Really cool. Not too big. Yes, Roberta was talking about their um, reservation, right? Yeah. So you go on the app. Is that how it works? Yeah, you go on the app on the middle, the, the middle button on the bottom. Um, Actually, maybe we can show you on our app. Okay, so you go here at theater show. Then you click on a show. That's what actually the show is about. Well, a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to says, Broadway. Book now. Just one big party, man. Love it. Roberta, that show was awesome. Guys, that clip I just showed you, that was coming right out of the theater. So it's like, you leave one, right? You leave one awesome, like, entertaining, fun time, and then there's just more. It's a lot of entertainment on here, a lot of music. We haven't talked about the show yet. I know, I'm getting there, but a lot of celebration of culture. Yeah, it's They true. really yeah. acknowledge their crew members' cultures and where they're from, and yeah. I love it, man. I just love it. But the show was definitely cool, Roberta. Yeah, it's cool, huh? It's a perfect name. I love to use yeah. that word, and that, that, that was cool. So, yeah, when we go into a show, we're trying to figure out, like, you know, what they're trying to propose. Yeah. I think that having the live band and the cool outfit. Yeah, it was nice. And uh, they were singing here. and dancing, and it started a little bit slow. Yes, it did, it Roberta. I was getting a little nervous, not yeah. gonna lie. Let's started have a nice, slow, but then, nice seat here. I was a little nervous at first. I was like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna like this, but it got better and better. Better and better, exactly. And they were yeah. doing some stunts and everything with the and dancing. The outfit. It was great. It was cool. I think you know, lyrically, it wasn't the best show, right? Lyrically, but the band yeah. was good. The, the, was good. the yeah. performance was really fun. Yeah. Jake, what'd you think of it? Did you like the music and stuff? Yes. Yeah, so the, <laughs> the only time it's about guys 
This kid will stay up till midnight every night of his life. To, it's about 920. He's like, Dad, I'm tired already. But this this is what goes to show you on these cruises. Jake really gets out of that element of uh, kind of his routine at home where he has some things he really enjoys. And here he just goes all out. But we're all, all, all out. And we're loving this ship so far, man. I don't know. I hope you're enjoying this vlog. I'm really trying to show you as we go through our day what you can experience here and I can't find any complaints. Right now, no. I really have no complaints as of now, but I mean, it's only been. No, but the service been good, the food is good. Roberta, as she's saying, yeah, service the, good, the food entertainment good. entertainment, it's good. We're having a lot of fun. Yes, you go to the promenade and everybody's having fun and laughing yeah. and, and if you want to go something a little bit like calm, we have piano upstairs at the pool. Yeah. They had DJ. I really kind of like the atrium style. I wasn't sure if I would. But it's kind of like the central area, that, that yeah. atrium where they have the piano, you can just hang out. It's kind of where we are, we're above that. But there's a lot of entertainment, a lot of music, a lot of fun. A little bit of a ramble there, guys. But again, this is Meddling World. You're on the adventure with us. This is your seat. You see that? <laughs> you're, you're sitting right there with us. That's how we want you to feel with Meddling World. I don't know. Is Jake going to make it? He's tired. He's tired, but we'll see. Not quite done yet, I don't think. We're going down the staircase and more crystals there with the piano. Look at this. Roberta, what do they call these crystals? Sure. Swarovski? I yeah, Swarovski. I, I can't pronounce it right, but that's what these crystals are. I know I'm killing a name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the SW Swarovski, I think it's called, something like that. Look at the piano bar. Let's check it out. You could say piano bar, I don't know. There's a bar right there. I don't know officially, but my gosh, this is amazing. I haven't even gone up there to see what's up there yet. This is really beautiful, man. Elegant, elegant, elegant. Back up here at the Marketplace Buffet. Why? Why not? We're on a cruise, you eat, you have fun. It's like 10 o'clock. We are actually all getting pretty tired though, so I think we're gonna grab a little snack, uh, have a drink, and we did stop at uh, guest services. So just to kind of explain the way, we used a debit card. So the way that it works is for your account, once you put the debit card in, it's kind of like a credit. So we put, I think, $250. So. Yeah, so what happens is as you say uh, your gratuities uh, each day, you know, you have gratuities for your room steward, for the waiter, automatic. Yeah. That comes off that account. Yeah. And if you bought yourself a beverage, drinks like that, that will come off the 250 So once you, uh, if you get off the ship and say you spent 190 they reimburse you 60 if you go over the 250, then they're gonna charge you more. Pre-authorization. Pre-authorization, that's the technical word I was looking for. Just to give you a little idea, because I know there's some confusion with that. Anyway, that's how it works with a debit card. So, let's grab a little snacky. A little snack time here. Uh, we got like a little chicken, chicken salad sandwich. This is a sugar-free, I'm not sure what kind of dessert. Got a pepperoni, got like mozzarella and sauce like a mozzarella ch cheese slice this pizza is really good one thing about this cruise ship is they make their own mozzarella uh, so i'm digging in guys and of course we got some orange juice jake chilling with his pizza he's eating an apple and roberta got herself the white sauce pizza there nice i don't usually you know sandwiches are sandwiches right this chicken salad sandwich is awesome, man. It is just, it's fabulous. It's just basic, it's got a nice bun, but it tastes so good, like the salad. Oh my gosh, it's got like some onions in there. The chicken's really good. Oh, I love this. This might be just a simple chicken salad sandwich. Yeah, we've had several items. This is right up there though, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Ah, guys, what a great first day. Can't wait to see you all tomorrow on our next adventure. We will be at MSC's private island, Ocean K. Can't wait to show it to you. Breakfast in the morning. We'll see you there, guys. Thank you so much for watching Meddling World. 
please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World, and last but not least, see ya!